Hello and welcome to the third and final section Installing and Configuring VMware Horizon View 7. So what are you going to learn in this section? In this section we're going to install the Horizon View Connection Server software. Once installed we will look at the initial configuration tasks you need to complete before you are ready to start delivering virtual desktops and also give you a guided tour of the View Administrator Management Console. So let's get straight on with the installation of the Horizon View Connection Server. In this video, before we get started with the installation, there are just a couple of prerequisites that we need to make sure you have in place around the configuration of the connection server that we're going to look at now. Then we will actually perform the installation. The connection server needs to be built with the following. It needs to be running either a Windows Server 2008 or Windows Server 2012 operating system, requires four virtual CPUs, a minimum of a 1 gig network card, 10 gigabytes of memory if you're going to host more than 50 users and a minimum of 60 gigabytes of disk space for the installation files to be stored. This server's already been pre-built in the installation and setup section of this course. So let's start the installation of the View Connection Server. This is going to be the first instance of the Connection Server and will be installed on the virtual machine with the host name HZN7-CS1. This was built during the installation setup part of this course. First of all, open a console to the virtual machine and then locate the Horizon View installation software that we downloaded at the beginning part of this course. In the example lab we save this software to a shared folder on the domain controller called VMware Software and then in a subfolder called Horizon 7. From the list of files, find VMware View Connection Server 86 underscore 64 and double click to launch. You will now see the open file security warning box. Click Run to accept and to start the installation. The first screen you will see is the Welcome to the Installation Wizard for VMware Horizon 7 Connection Server. Click the Next button to continue. You will now see the License Agreement screen. On here, click the radio button to accept the terms in the License Agreement and then click the Next button. The next screen is for the Destination folder. This is where the software is going to be installed to. By default, this goes to C colon backslash program files backslash VMware, backslash VMware view, backslash server. We're going to leave this as default, so click the next button to continue. Next you see the installation options screen. This is where we select the type of Horizon 7 connection server instance that you want to install. As we've discussed, there are a number of different roles from a standard server, a replica server, a security server, and then the enrollment server. As this is the first view connection server, from the list we're going to ensure that we select standard server. We're also going to install the HTML access, so make sure that the box for install HTML access is checked. The final option on this screen is to choose which IP protocol version we're going to use. Horizon View supports IP version 4 and version 6, but remember you cannot mix and match IP4 and IP6 within the same environment. So for the lab example environment, we're going to use IP version 4. So ensure that that is highlighted and then click the next button to continue. On the next screen, you'll see the data recovery password details. Here, we need to enter a password for the backups for our Horizon connection server. So if we enter a password in the field here, and then re-enter the password to make sure that we typed it correctly, and then enter a password reminder. That's optional, so you don't need to type that if you don't want to. When you're happy with the details, click the next button to continue. You will now see the firewall configuration screen. Click the radio button for configure Windows firewall automatically. Windows firewall is a requirement for Horizon View, specifically for security server to connection server communications. Under no circumstances should you disable the Windows firewall service on your view servers. The recommendation is to allow Windows Firewall to be configured automatically and remember the required ports where needed. Click the next button to continue. Next you will see the Horizon 7 Administrators screen. On this screen you need to configure which users on your domain or on the local server are going to be configured as your view administrators. In the example lab we're just going to use the standard administrator account However, it is recommended that you create a specific user and or group of your users who will have admin access to view. So in this example, click the radio button for authorize a specific domain or user group. And in the box, type in the domain 
and backslash and then the username. So in this case it's PVO Lab backslash administrator. Click the next button when you've completed this screen. Next you will see the user experience improvement program. This allows VMware to collect anonymous data uh, based on your Horizon View experience. It's not a licensing check but for now we're just going to uncheck the box and click the next button to continue. That's all the configuration options now selected. Now click the Knit Install button to start the installation. You will now see the green progress bar as new files are copied and the installation completes. You'll see that the icon has now appeared on the desktop for our Horizon View Administrator and all the communications and Active Directory LDS server roles are all configured. The installation has now completed. You have the option here to check the box to show the readme file when completed. We're going to uncheck that, we don't need to read the readme file just now. However, you can come back and read that later on. Now click the finish button to complete the installation and close the window. The Horizon 7 connection server has now been installed.